You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for our Black and White Sports. Well, we got kind of an issue going on over at the Worldwide Leader in Woke. ESPN the other day during an SEC network broadcast. There was some joking around that was not taken kindly from one former New England Patriot and Saints tight end, Benjamin Watson. Benjamin Watson was a damn good football player for a long time. Over 500 receptions, 44 TDs, over 6,000 receiving yards. He was a real player in the NFL. He's also a very devout Christian and family man. Keep that in mind as you watch what you're about to watch. Uh, ESPN has tried to run a bit of a cover-up, which has now been exposed. They try to say this was all a bit, that it was set up, and that uh, everything was just fine. But when you watch this video, you can tell everything's not fine at all. And now ESPN has been caught in what looks like a blatant lie on this Benjamin Watson thing. And keep this in mind. Let's just watch this real fast. Uh, 45, 20. By the way, did you not get the memo on the suits? We all went dark today. You were, you're like, there's Watson. Well, y'all kind of leave me out. Oh, man. He as, said long, you got as, long, as, long, as long as I get the text from my wife that says I look good. Oh, really? Right. 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 So, so, send me the text, babe. Send me the text. <laughs> That's not the one she sent me. Oh, 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 my wow. God. Outdoors. Come on, she's right. Welcome back to the Farm Rich Halftime Report. Uh, just okay, you notice there's uh, Peter Burns is not there. Watson is not there. Now watch Watson walk back in. Because, and look at this dude's face right here. Yikes. This has been viewed seven and a half million times. Good God. You and I here, Taki, I'm not sure what happened to uh, Peter Burns or... Did you, uh, there he did is. You have him keep your wife's name oh. out of his mouth? Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We'll, we'll see how Peter Burns is uh, with that smart mouth <laughs> in the second half. But uh, Gators. Whoa! Benjamin Watson is pissed. Look at his oh, face. <laughs> Look at those eyes right there. But, uh, that's the Keo Spikes. In the first half. Man, Just... one of my favorite players of all time. So, this has led to a lot of controversy. I don't know how you guys feel about it. I know my buddies would would not say something like this. I wouldn't say something about their wife. Um, I get it. It's just a joke. But generally speaking, we got that level of respect. And Benjamin Watson, like I said, big-time family guy, big-time Christian, and he didn't take kindly to it. Uh, this is OutKick, by the way. After ESPN... SEC Network analyst Peter Burns joked about fellow correspondent Benjamin Watson's wife. An awkward moment of tension followed. The network desperately tried to sweep the conflict under the rug. When Al Kick reached out to ESPN on Saturday, again on Sunday, about the incident, we were told it was, quote, a bit. Well, Burns and ESPN quietly confirmed that the whole bit wasn't a joke, and that the worldwide leader of spoofs lied about the moment in their attempt at damage control. During the first quarter of Monday Night Football, Burns tweeted an earnest apology to Watson over the wife joke flying in the face of ESPN's statement that Burns and Watson's moment was staged. Burns posted Monday evening, while it was a joke, the truth is that I crossed the line You should never joke about a family, so I owe a public apology to Ben and Kirsten 100% at Benjamin S. Watson. Couldn't have handled it better with his humor and class. We all good and proud to call him a friend and co-worker. Outkick reached out to ESPN for comment on Monday, seeking an explanation, giving misleading comments on the incident over the weekend based on Burns' apology. ESPN has not responded at the time of this article. Responses to Burns' tweet voiced support for Peter, quote, bigger man moment 
They applauded him for taking accountability and vowing never to joke about another man's wife. I give him some credit. At least he apologized. But if the whole thing was a joke, per ESPN's official word, why would Burns need to apologize? And why would ESPN lie about the incident and essentially cover it up by putting out an apology during a primetime game? It's all fishy, and it looks like someone got caught. Uh, uh, let's go down. A fairly innocuous joke, we know, but Watson didn't take it that way, and it was obvious. The segment cut to a commercial. Once the cameras resumed the coverage, only Spikes and Doran appeared on screen with Watson and Burns seemingly quarreling behind the scenes after the joke about Watson's wife. It was an awkward scene to witness real time, and the network quickly tried to stomp out the fire. Burns put out a picture of the two with a friendship hashtag. Watson's face was apparently still bothered at the moment. Watson, quote, tweeted the selfie with, Moving on, but you still owe Mrs. Watson a public apology. Yikes. I mean, right there, he is none too happy, Benjamin Watson. With all the social media begging for answers behind the possible Will Smith Oscars moment, between two SEC analysts, OutKick reached out to ESPN's PR department, asking if Watson and Burns quarreled on set or if the moment was indeed a joke. ESPN responded to OutKick's Dan Zakowski. I don't know if that's right, sorry, with a statement doubling down that it was a, all a planned bit. I don't believe that for a solitary millisecond. Thanks for reaching out. Entire thing was a performance bit. Benjamin 100% deserves an Emmy nomination. I'll be filing the paperwork on Monday. Their response read, you've got to be joking. There's no way in hell that was a bit. I'm not buying that at all. Critics smelled even more BS as Burns' new apology on Monday confirmed ESPN couldn't own up to the moment and lied that Watson wasn't offset by the moment. Wow. Here we go with the apology. While it was a joke, the truth is that I crossed the line. You never should joke about family, so I owe a public apology to Ben and Kirsten 100%. At Benjamin S. Watson couldn't have handled it better. With humor in class, we all and proud to call him a friend and co-worker. So if this was a joke, it did not go over. Let's just say this. There's no way in hell that this was a joke. Benjamin Watson was legit pissed. It does look like he may have overreacted, but that still doesn't mean he wasn't legitimately mad about it. And I get... I get it. It's sort of an uh, it's sort of a low key, no big deal kind of joke, but you still brought up a wife, a spouse, and for a lot of people, that's automatically going to cross the line. ESPN lied about this. They blatantly lied about it. They cannot and will not convince me that this was completely ad libbed, completely came out of the moment. And there was a legit issue behind the scenes involving Peter Burns and Benjamin Watson. Without a doubt, you can tell when he comes back and sits back down, that is a man's face that is furious and that is livid. And he was having none of it. How about Takeo Spikes being on the broadcast, too? One of my favorite 49ers of all time. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. I get it. It's a joke. Yikes. ESPN is trying to do damage control here. Big time. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First. 25% off USA First. Go now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.